morning everybody we're at the yard just south of Winnipeg Manitoba and I got some curable trucker hand bomb feel the difference it's from bull snot never actually been a guy to use any hand products or anything. I just sort of grin and bear it through the winter, like most men, I think. But uh, I got sent a couple of these from Bullsnot to try, right? It's curable. Made specifically for truckers. This curable trucker hand balm is a moisturizer that heals, relieves, and repairs extremely dry, cracked hands. Curable is a trucker tested and approved or is trucker tested and approved guaranteed relief for your money back and it actually works i actually use it at least once a day once or once or twice every day now and it does help this one's not scented just in the winter time your hands really dry out in this cold dry weather and it can get very painful and annoying i never thought i'd use any hand product like this but the good people at bull snot sent me a bit to try and <laughs> now I'm actually hooked. You can get it at bullsnot.com or sorry brownox.com or bullsnotcanada.com. So the plan for today is to go into Winnipeg, pick up a load and bring it to the Paw Manitoba. It's about a six to seven hour drive from here once I'm loaded and then we come back. I have an empty step deck 53 foot behind me. We're gonna go fill it up with stuff I'm going to pull it on over there. It's going to be fun. It's cold. It was minus 31 overnight. Old Blue kept me nice and warm. We had the weasel with us this trip. We tried his new Thunder shirt yesterday, which is supposed to relieve his anxiety when he's in the truck because he's getting older and uh, he's having a little bit of anxiety issues in the truck. And that's why he hasn't been in the truck with me as much, as well as... You know, he's semi-retired. He's spending home and time at home with his family too. But so far, I mean, I haven't given it a good, good trial yet. But so far, yesterday the, thun the thunder shirt really seemed to help. Let's see if we can get ourselves into traffic here. Rush hour is going that way because it's all going into Winnipeg. So that was the easy part. Oh, looks like we got a good break in traffic coming up here. <clears throat> I like that they made these, that they, they made this divided highway. This is Highway 59 South, south of Winnipeg. Glad they made it like wide enough that I could fit my whole truck and trailer between lanes of traffic. So that when I'm waiting for this side, I'm not blocking the other side. You know what I mean? That makes it a lot easier to cross. I don't hit me flashers going. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a cold day, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna be a good day.
trucking. Picked up our freight, it's on the deck behind me. We're headed up to the Paw. What's the time now? Oh, it's about midday. Beautiful day out here though, hey? Eh? Look, there's not a cloud in the sky. Oh, there's some over there, but you know what that means though, right? You've been watching my videos long enough? A clear sky means it's gonna get cold tonight and tomorrow. Tonight the temperature is going to drop down to about minus 30 and the next night is going to drop down to minus 34. I'm talking Celsius. Minus 34 at night. So it looks like it's just going to be this week and then it's going to warm up next week. So we got three days of pretty, pretty cold weather. And you know, we're actually doing pretty good this winter. I'm actually pretty happy with how this winter's gone. It's been pretty mild. Last winter and the winter before, it seemed like four to six weeks of just brutal deep freeze. And this is our first week so far. We're already in February, 2023. So we only got two more weeks left until, uh, you know, we're close enough to the spring equinox that we don't have to worry about it slamming us down to minus 35 at night, right? It's usually the last two weeks of January and the first two weeks of February that are the very coldest. After that, we're usually pretty good. Anytime before that is, or after that, is just snow, a lot of snow. That's one good thing about it being so cold is it doesn't snow as much, but eh, you can't have, you can't have a perfect life. You gotta have one or the other. Either it's really cold or it's snowing. Diesel, how's that thunder shirt? I'm a thunder weasel, man. Thunder weasel, ka -chow. Good for you, bud. It's really calming him down. So far, it's working good. Try it for a couple of days and see how it goes, but I took it off for a little bit this morning and he practically begged me to put it back on. He kept staring at me and staring at me until finally I stopped and I went, to, oh, I said, do you want your thunder shirt? And he got started to get all excited. And I pulled it out of the box in the back and he comes jumping into the back in the bed and sits there in front of me wagging his tail. Kept poking it with his nose. He wanted to wear it. So he really likes it. Right? Does it make you feel calm, Diesel? Super calm, man. So calm. So calm, man. So the receiver where we're headed to closes at 5. And guess what our ETA is? It is 5. Also. So as I get closer, I'm gonna give them a call, see if they wanna wait around to unload me today yet, which would be fantastic. But if I can't convince them of that, we'll have to wait in the pod till the morning and they'll unload us then. Not a big deal, but you know, I always like to you know, get as far as I can in the day. And I've got plenty of hours, like if I unload, I can drive quite a ways back, if not almost all the way back. Ah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens either way. I'm okay with it. It's a good day, right, Diesel? My Thunder Weasel. Dad, can I get a cape? I want a cape on my Thunder Weasel. Superhero, man. Kachow. <laughs> good for you, Diesel. I'm glad you're so happy. It's good to see. I think this might be the solution to have him in the truck more often. Not all the time, but more often. That is a whole house. I've said it before, but Amazon Prime delivery is getting out of control. That is crazy. Anybody order a house? Look at this thing, it's huge. How wide would you say that is? It's wider than the entire highway. So, 15, 30, 40 feet wide? Is that way too much? Look at this, opposing traffic has to go all the way, like almost into the ditch. They're all confused, like, <laughs> is that a house? Yes, ma'am, that's a house. What, you thought we built them on site nowadays? It's 2023. 
We'll build it wherever we want to and we'll bring it to you. This is actually what we were thinking of doing for, uh, for our build and our land. We sort of changed our mind on it already. But uh, we'll see. How is this guy? Oh, yikes. See, he can't go any further to the right because of those posts, right? And all the traffic coming at him has to just barely squeak past. I would almost dare say this is a little too wide for this highway. This is Highway 6. It's a major provincial highway. It's the only highway that takes us up into northern Manitoba and all the northern communities. It's a little two-lane highway like this. I would say, I don't know, if I was the one issuing the permits, I don't think I would issue a permit for this. This is a little bit out of control. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're doing a good job. But it is really dangerous. How is traffic supposed to safely maneuver around him? How long am I going to be behind him now too, right? The only way I can get past him is if he pulls over and lets me past him. seem to be happening in this town so maybe the next town like, like look at that he's gonna hit that oncoming car I yay this white Jeep here just had to hit the ditch look, there's his tracks going off the road off the gravel there not too far but hey yay that is risky I wonder what the the widest load is like how big of a, a house can you move here? How big do the permits allow them to go? Is this the biggest or is this maybe a little stretching it a little too big? Like I said, they're doing a good job. They're not hitting anything. But I don't think I don't think I would issue a permit for that. That's just see he's gotta go into the middle of the road to avoid all these road signs on the right. And all oncoming traffic literally has to stop way out there in a turning lane off the road. Yeah, he's shaking his head. Yeah, it's too wide. It's too big. For a two-lane road, it's too big. That's my opinion. So truck stop at the corner of Highway 6 and Highway 60. And there's this SO truck stop with Shell fuel here. I don't know if you can actually get fuel or not. This is actually quite a big parking lot here. You'll see it on the map when you look it up. Oh, there's a big pile of garbage behind there. Oh, that will attract the bears. Why would that be there? Okay, well. I was gonna say, when you come here, it actually looks like a very big lot on the maps, but for some reason they haven't been clearing it. So just be aware that if you come up here and you're expecting a nice place to park, they pretty much just cleared enough space for people to get in and out of the lot, but no parking for some reason. And they also have a big pile of garbage behind the store, which will attract wildlife and possibly bears. So just keep your, uh, wits about you when if you pull in here I mean I'm sure it's a nice enough store but all of this to the left here they didn't clear for some reason I was a little bit disappointed when I pulled in here it's gonna have a nice little break but there's really the only way to park here is by blocking one of the pumps or by blocking the driveway itself very strange but they do have a convenience store there and gasoline and diesel fuel. Just uh, don't make plans to stay there overnight or anything, I guess.
remote stretch of road from here to uh, what's the highway that we're going to meet up with that goes up into the Paw? Can't think of it offhand right now. I, I know what it is. I can't think of it. But this is Highway 60. It's very remote. So make sure you got enough food and water, uh, warm blankets. You probably won't have cell service for a long stretch down here. In 300 meters, turn left on Highway 60. Very icy too. Very icy. Thanks. Yeah, let's be careful. Continue on this road for 152 kilometers. To Highway 10. That was the highway I was thinking of. This guy here, checking his load. Go around him, we got another guy up here who looks like he's broken down. That's too bad. Hey, I think I was following this guy before. At least, you know, if he broke down, at least this is a decent spot. Because uh, you, you'll have cell service here and you're right close to that convenience store. Chicago's actually uh, treated me very well. Spent uh, spent quite a few, well, quite a bit of time in Chicago, and I've never had a problem.
Ouch. Your destination is on the left. Thank you, I've gathered that. That's why I'm stopping with my signal on and turning. All right, let's grab some fuel. And we'll uh, find a spot here. I'm not really too excited about this because it's very secluded out here. And it's going to be cold tonight. Sometimes I don't have a choice. We'll grab our fuel and we'll uh, make our decision. Number one. Nice. A little, little bit further. A little bit further. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. All right, I came back into town. I just didn't feel comfortable sleeping at that Petro Pass. I grabbed fuel there, but it's it was literally, I think, four miles out of town with nothing there. There's a few other trucks sitting there. That's true. But... If my truck stopped running for whatever reason, or broke down, or whatever, I couldn't run it, and my bunk heater stopped working at the same time, I'd have to walk four miles in minus 30 with diesel, carrying him, obviously, because his paws would get cold. And I don't know if I could carry him for four miles, or how long would that take us? I could wrap him in a blanket, and I got enough clothes to stay warm, so I know we'd live, but man, that would be a... That uh, just wouldn't be a good experience. So I came here, there's a shell. This guy's gonna pull in here too. Shell gas station. And I went inside and asked if I could park here for the night and I'll be out of here in the morning. And they said, yeah, no problem, no problem. Said, okay, thank God, because I, I really want to stay in town here. I mean, there's a, an inn across there. I think there's a casino over there. Behind these trucks here, there's a 24 hour gas station. Uh, so if, if the worst happens, which I'm not expecting it to, but just in case, I know that we'll be okay. That I don't gotta walk four miles in minus 30. I mean, I've, I've learned my lesson before. It's not a good idea. You always prepare for the worst, always. You don't expect the worst, but you prepare for the worst. You expect the unexpected, as my neighbor Tony would say. So that's where we're at now. You know put together my video I have some time now I have about 13 hours before they're gonna unload me Diesel's sleeping away back here he ate his whole supper and the Thunder shirt has been working great I took it off for a section of time today while we were going down a pretty rough road and he did seem to get a little bit nervous he was sort of staring at me more you could tell when you know when they get that bug-eyed look like something like they're just their anxiety is starting to kick in so I stopped, I put his Thunder shirt on, and immediately just laid down and just relaxed. So the first full day of using it on the road, and it seems to really be helping. We'll try it again tomorrow, see if it works again, and then we'll try it for a couple of weeks. I think that's my wife calling. I was just going to call her. She called me first. So we're safe, we're warm, and we're together. Right, Weasel? Oh, I got my computer bag on you. That was rude. That was rude. We're together, right? Two old buddies back on the road, man. You belong on the road here, bud. He loves the truck. It's just this truck scares him a little bit, I think, because it's a little noisier than the other one. It's a little smaller, a little more cramped. But he's got he's getting used to it. And most of the time he's at home with his family playing around with Chevy anyways. Beating up Chevy, right? That's right. Beat him up. You know, every day, man. Or does he beat you up? So thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow right here. Gonna deliver in the paw. 
first thing and we're gonna head back to Winnipeg. There's a load waiting there for me. I believe they're gonna try to get it picked up for me. It's in Winnipeg, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get there before business closes. So again, they're gonna try to get it picked up for me and bring it to our yard so I can just hook onto it there. I have no idea where it's going. From what I've heard with the other drivers that are doing the same stuff, <clears throat> sounds like it might be going to Grand Forks, North Dakota. I don't know. Guess we'll find out tomorrow. I don't really care where it's going. They know that uh, we have an appointment on the weekend, so it won't be going too far. A lot of appointments. Uh, as we're nearing the end of the third trimester, I have to balance working my tail off, but also being home for the important appoint appointments. I have to miss some of them. And that's the hard part. You sort of got to pick and choose which appointments you're going to be at. And I think this is never going to end from now on for the rest of my life. Because there's always going to be important events and dates in my kid's life. You know, there's going to be the band concerts, the hockey games, the soccer games, whatever they choose to do. If they're in gymnastics or if a little girl in ballet. Whatever they end up doing with their lives. I don't care what they do as long as they're happy. I want to be there and I want to experience that with them. I want to be there with them. But I know as a truck driver, sometimes I'm going to have to miss these important events and it, it's going to be very hard for me. But, you know, we we got to put food on the table. But uh, I, I will make one promise and uh, it's one that I'll stick to is that the very important dates, the most important dates, I will be there. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you get notified when my next video goes up. I'll talk to you later.